then touch ID. So your touch ID, it's gonna be on the top left hand side. Just tap on it and you're gonna set up your touch ID. So we're gonna go on and do that several times. Just place it up and down. Of course you can skip this. So there was the option to skip this if you don't wanna input any personal information. Press okay, continue on, almost done. It's just gonna capture the edges. Since there is no home button, this is the new way to do this touch ID and you can add another one. So usually if you're holding your iPad this way, you're gonna use this hand. If you're holding it vertical, you're most likely gonna use your right hand. So that's why it asks you if you want two fingers or you can even add your kids or your wife's fingerprint there if you want. But if you don't want to, just go on into setup later in settings, which was an option before as well. So we're gonna go there. We can create a passcode. There's always passcode options. So we can go into four digits instead, put in something like so if you want to, or make it secure. I would suggest making it secure, but if you guys don't want to, go ahead and make it very accessible. So right now we put in those things. This is the part where if you guys had an, another Apple device, you guys could transfer everything in. So from iCloud or another iPad, just go right into it from your Mac or PC. PC, not so much from Mac, sure why not. From Android, doesn't work that great, so I would skip that. I would start from fresh if you guys come from Android. If you guys are brand new, obviously you're gonna choose, don't transfer anything. From here, it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID. So if you guys have one, go on and put it in. If you don't have one, you guys can create one from here, or you guys can skip this if you don't wanna transfer any personal information into this iPad. So we're gonna choose you know, this part if you guys don't have one. From here, we can create an Apple ID, that's your second option. And it's gonna ask you, let me just show you, for your first name, last name, birthday, and it's gonna ask you for your email, and then you're gonna be done. So let me just go back to show you the other one. And if you forgot your password, for example, you guys can go there, but I wouldn't do it from here, by the way, I would do it on your other device. And if you guys don't want to import your personal information, your Apple ID here, you guys can always skip that by setting up that later in settings, don't use, and then, then go on. But if this were you, for sure, for sure, put your app ID. You will get this message regardless, agree, and then automatic updates. I would suggest always going to download only just because some glitches happen, you might not want those to automatically install. So right now you guys could enable or not enable, it's up to you, I would enable. And that's because if you guys wanna use your maps, it's important that GPS, Siri, this is something that you guys can skip as well if you guys don't want to put anything personal once again. But if you want to set it up, this is how you do it. So going to continue. I'm gonna choose voice number four, because that's what I'm used to. I'm gonna choose continue on. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And there you go. So you guys just had to read everything that was there so he knows your voice. It's, it will actually listen to other people as well. So if they say something like that, it, it's here you might respond, most likely will respond. Anyways, this part, you guys wanna share your audio recordings, you can, you don't have to. A lot of people choose, not now. I'm gonna share anyways. Screen time, this is something I think it's mostly for kids. So you guys can add restrictions for apps and a bunch of stuff in here. Most likely for an adult, you don't really care. You know what you're gonna use it for and you can just skip this part so we can put it to set up later. This, again, you guys can share this or not with Apple. I'm gonna share, same deal with this. You can share with developers or not. And this part. So this part is about light mode or dark mode. Dark mode is what I prefer. However, automatic will bring it light during the day dark during the night so it's not so harsh on your eyes plus if you guys want to keep it just on one just go ahead and choose light so for me for the purpose of this video although i don't like light that much i'm going to choose light just because it's easier to read when you guys are watching this and then get started and you are all done what apps come included with your normal ipad so this is a normal ipad latest version these right here so you guys will notice all the apps whoops so once again, these are all the apps that you guys are gonna get. You can open up the folders in there, but anyways, you guys can see them all here. If you want any other social media apps, which you will, go into the App Store. They're completely free, most social media apps. And that's it, that's all the apps you guys get. You will need an app ID, obviously, to download apps from the App Store. And by the way, your camera's up there. That's something new that's with 
your iPads. Older iPads had cameras up here or down here, depending how you're looking at it. Anyways, right now you're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to watch the manual for the iPad if you guys really wanna know the basics. I do have another video that teaches you how to handle this iPad, how to do everything on it. But anyways, that's another video. This is just a setup video. And anyways, don't forget to write down any questions you guys have right here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.